in this video I'm going to be doing a power output test on a Yamaha CR400 stereo receiver which I recently repaired at the moment I've got the receiver turned on I've got the the bass and treble controls in the neutral position I've got the loudness control off I've got the stereo mono selector in the mono position and what I'm going to do now is turn the volume control I've got that all the way up now on the back end I have a, a dummy load hooked up which I'm using the 8 ohm position I have both channels hooked up because I'm uh, going to be taking both channel readings at the same time and across the speaker outputs I have my oscilloscope probes here's my oscilloscope ready to go and as far as my input generator is concerned I'm going to be using the HP 3325B function generator which right now is putting out a sine wave at about 1000 Hertz and I think right now it's putting out one millivolt and here mark my connections that I'm feeding into the back I'm feeding into the uh, aux input and this is the cable from the signal generator I'm feeding into both channels at the same time because I'm going to be measuring the output with both channels driven so I'm going to begin now I see that it's putting out one was that one millivolt I believe which is of course since I'm feeding into feeding into the aux input one millivolt is going to be not enough it's going to have to be at least three three figures and like I said I have the volume control of the steer of the stereo receiver turned all the way up so I'm gonna go ahead and make some changes here okay I've got a little something coming up on the oscilloscope right now I'm up at um, looks like as far as the output is concerned I'm feeding in the RMS signal of 70 millivolts and the oscilloscope is at 5 uh, volts per division so I'm feeding in 111 millivolts I'm gonna go ahead and take her up some more I think I've got more room left I'm about let's see one two three four five six that's uh, 30 volts peak to peak right there. I'm over that now. I'm, it looks like I'm right over 32 volts peak to peak. I'm going to see if I can take it up a little bit more before it starts clipping. I'm at 113 millivolts. 120? Okay, I can see it started clipping right there. Now really big time there if I... So I'm going to back it back down. That's I think that's 130 millivolts. Um, I think that kind of looks okay right there. Let me see. That's about 30, 32, right around. I think around 30, 34 or 33 volts uh, peak to peak. Let's just say, let's be conservative and say 33 volts peak to peak. So I'm going to go ahead and do the math and then I'll be able to tell what it's actually, what the power output is with both channels driven at 8 ohms each. Okay, here's my actual math I'm going to do. I'm using a really simplified version of my calculator. Also, I said... Being conservative, let's say it's 33 volts 
peak to peak. Um, I guess we could go 34 too. I'm just going to go ahead and use 33. So I take the 33 and I divide that by 2 to get the center to peak voltage and then I times that by 0 0.707 that's getting me the RMS voltage and that comes out to 11.66 I'm going to times that by times that by 11.6 11.66 Five five, which is a hundred and thirty six, and then I'm going to divide that by eight because it's an eight ohm load. Um, divide by eight, so it's uh, seventeen watts at eight ohms. Uh, per channel RMS. That's that's what this receiver is actually putting out. I don't know exactly what it's rated at, but I guess it's probably going to be rated around there. And if we're a little bit generous here with our measurements, let's say we took 34 volts peak to peak, uh, divide by 2 equals 17 times 0 0.707 you get the RMS voltage is 12.019 then we take that um, we multiply that by itself times 12.019 um, 144 and we, we divide that by 8 because we have 8 on the load so that would be 18 watts uh, per channel both channels driven uh, with a thousand Hertz signal so let's just say it's putting out around 17 to uh, 18 watts per channel um, I don't have the specs on me right now but I'm sure this is probably going to be pretty might be pretty close to what the uh, manufacturer stated I mean it's Yamaha so uh, I guess that concludes this uh, video.